Hi, my name's Ernest from Lipo for Oz, and I just wanna quickly go through um, the setup um, of a battery kit using the JK BMSs. Um, so uh, on our website, no doubt you've uh, seen our battery kits. Um, you've got the optional extra or the option to um, get a JK BMS. We've got two different types. We've got the four to eight S um, JK BMS, which is good for 12 to 24 volt. And then we've got the eight to 24 S, which is good for um, basically 24 up to, I think 72 volts. Um, but yeah, basically 24 S in series. Um, so let's jump in and uh, look at the setup. Okay, so first of all, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna um, put your cells together. Now these are cells that I've already um, put in order and as you can see I've taped them together um, you know this is good for you know one making sure they don't rub together if you know they're, they're sort of being used where they're mobile like in a mobile home or a caravan or boat or anything like that um, and it's also good um, I, I've done a lot of battery kits like this um, you can compress them if you want in other words build them into a box where uh, there's pressure either side of the cells to help them stop swelling. Um, but yeah, look, I've set up heaps of batteries like this. Normally I actually run an extra bit of tape around the middle as well um, to, to help that with um, the swelling. Um, so that's that's what I do. In addition to that, what I haven't done on this one is you you get these insulate, insulating sheets as a part of your kit. I haven't used that in this particular pack because uh, this is actually one of my old packs that I've had for years. But I just wanted to demonstrate how to put the um, put the uh, the JK BMS um, wire it in and program it. So um, I'm using these. So. First of all, you want to just make sure that when you get your cells and you take them out of the box, that you make note of the um, the terminals. Now, you'll see um, on these cells, uh, there's a black um, a base on the on one of the terminals and a cream or a beige base. Now. The black is actually the positive, um, contrary to most battery systems. Um, and if you get your multimeter, so. If I get the um, multimeter and um, I put the positive on the on the beige and the negative on the on the black, you'll see that we get a negative reading. If we swap it around, we get a positive reading. So um, you want to make sure that uh, that you do that. The other thing as well that I do is I go and I measure the voltage of every one of my cells. You, ideally, you want to make sure that the the voltages are you know somewhat the same. Um, now to First start with um, wiring up the JK BMS, you'll get a um, the balance wires as we call them in your JK BMS. Now um, in this particular one that we're gonna set up, which is the 8S BMS, um, the balance wires has nine wires, one black one, and then eight red ones. Now, the good thing about the JK BMS is, is you can use it for either a 12 volt um, 24 volt setup. Um, you can actually use it for um, any number of uh, cells that you want to connect into series up to eight cells. Um, so in this instance, we're putting together four, four cells to make a 12 volt system, but the same principle would apply for, you know, 24 volt, um, you know, any number of cells. And even with the other BMS, the black um, JK BMS, you can wire up to 24 cells in series. The same principle applies. So. To start off with, what I do is we get out our balance leads. Now, um, if um, now most of the balance uh, the leads that we get for the JK BMSs, they already come with the eyelets crimped. However, if um, you're unlucky and you don't get one that's crimped, uh, maybe we had to order that batch in a hurry, um, then you'll need to go through and attach the eyelets. But in most cases, you should actually have the eyelets already connected. Um, now. If you're connecting the eyelets, what I suggest that you do, okay, is um, once you've connected your eyelets, and I'll try and do this in a way that you can you can see, okay, go and get your multimeter. So what you wanna do is you wanna put the multimeter on the continuity test, get your probes. Now, the audio is not working on this multimeter at the moment for some reason, but basically connect your probe, put it on the other side, uh, on the, terminal side of the connector. So I'll do the first black one, red one, 
and I can see there that I've got um, a reading. And then what you wanna do is you wanna move it along to the next one and um, basically do the next one, okay? And that's just to, to make sure that you crimp the cables properly, okay? I know the cables are, are done properly, but if you need to connect the eyelets yourselves, then I suggest you go do that. Okay, the other thing as well that I do first of all is I connect the bus bars. So um, in this 4S um, configuration, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna know where my main negative is and my main positive. So this is gonna be our main um, positive. This is gonna be our main negative. So what I do is I go and I put the bus bars where they're gonna go, okay, like that. Okay, and then what I do is I grab my balance cables and I start um, putting them where they need to go. Now, um, I start off with the black cable, okay? Now, this black cable here goes to the main negative of the bank. So this is our positive, this is our main negative. That's where this, um, this, this black one goes. And I'll get a nut just to hold it in place for us, okay? The next one, so the first red one or the second um, cable in the um, balance wires, um, goes to the positive of the same cell. So we'll call this cell number one. It'll go to positive of cell number one. Again, I'll get a nut and just put that into place. Okay, then I'll get the third cable, okay, um, which is the uh, second red one, and it goes to the positive of cell number two. Okay. Um, I'll get the fourth cable or the third red cable and I'll put that on positive of cell number three. Okay. And then I'll get the fifth cable or the fourth red cable, and I'll put that on the main positive of the um, bank. Now, this is where it's a little bit different with the JK BMSs and the daily BMSs, right? Um, you've got all these wires here, so this one again can be connected for a 24 or an 8S connection or battery kit. Um, however, the main difference is when you're connecting up a 12 volt or a 4S system, that very last wire also goes onto the main um, positive, okay, like so. Again, if you're doing a 24S system, you just follow the cables along and this would go on the last main positive. Um, but if you've got the you know, the, the 24S um, black BMS. Again, the same principle applies and whatever the last uh, cell is, um, the last red cable goes, wire goes on there. So that's, that's basically how the balance wires wire. Don't connect this to the BMS before you've connected all your wires, okay? Leave it unconnected. And then what you might wanna do is, in this instance, I would just put these together and table, uh, cable tie them um, so they're out of the way. Okay, uh, I don't have a cable tie at the moment, um, so we'll just leave that there. Okay, what I also need to do is, now this is the one bad thing with the JK BMS, especially this particular model, there is no um, B or P minus um, cable, unlike the daily BMSs, or even on the black 24S, they have the cables there, but they don't have the lugs, so we include the lugs, but on, the, um, on these BMSs, the ADS BMSs, we actually include a cable like this one here. So what I would do is I would get the cable and I would connect the um, that cable to the BMS. Now, the B minus side goes to your battery. The P minus side becomes your new main negative for the battery bank, okay? So I'll tighten that up. Um, if you're looking to run, say, 200 amps through these BMSs, I would suggest that you probably run another cable um, through it or make sure that the cable that you're running is rated for 200 amps. This one isn't, so if you're looking to run 200 amps, I would double up that cable um, so that, you know, you're not gonna have any issues with um, the cable overheating. So that would be how you connect the, um, the, the cable to the BMS. And then this particular cable, the B minus cable, then goes on to the main negative as well. So I'll take that off, put this one on there. Screw that up. Okay, so that's basically how the system is wired. 
okay, you would go through and you tighten up all your um, terminals. Now, a common question that we get is how tight do you do it? Um, there's people out there that say that, you you know, there's certain specifications in how tight you do up these nuts or these terminals. Um, the, the, the reality is I've never seen anything on the spec sheet and um, these these terminals are actually welded after they're out of the, come out of the factory. So the factory doesn't actually have any specifications on how tight these are. In addition to that, these cables here are, or these nuts here are just there to ensure that you've got a good um, connection between the bus bars and the, um, and, the, and the terminals. So they don't need to be super tight. So what I do is I do all the nuts up, finger tight, like so, okay? And then I get something like maybe a ratchet, okay? And all I do, make sure it's going the right way, and all I do is I do a quarter turn, okay? Don't, you don't have to have them super tight. The reason being is um, they do stretch, especially if they get, you know, they'll, they'll, they might get warm. So you don't need to do one up super tight just so that there's a, a good connection between it. The other thing as well that you might want to do is clean the terminals before you connect the um, the bus bars, just to ensure that maybe there's no dirt or um, anything underneath the tables that uh, the cables that the bus bars, sorry, that would prevent a good connection. Okay, so these are all done up tight. Okay, so that's basically how you wire the um, BMS. Um, what I would do then is you get the connector of your um, the balance wire connector, and then it plugs into the back of the BMS like so, okay? Now, to start these BMSs, what you can do is you can either get a multimeter, and again, you put it on the continuity test, and you can put one, one on the P minus and the B minus side of the BMS, and that will start them. If it doesn't work, swap your probes over, okay? Um, and so that can start the BMS, but what we do is we include the start button with all of our BMSs to save you trouble. So this start button that we include plugs into the back of the BMS just like, uh, where are we? Just like so into this one here, okay? Now, that's all ready to go. This BMS is ready to go. So to start the BMS, all I need to do is just push the button and you'll hear that it's, it's beeped and you'll see that it's got a red flashing light on the back here. Okay, so now the BMS is active. What you need to do is you need to go in and program the BMS. So we're gonna jump in now and program this BMS.